you guys. Good morning. I'm going to try something this morning that I saw where else? YouTube. Um, basically, frozen bananas. Blended into a banana whip, like an ice cream. So, considered kind of a raw food, I guess, right? Bananas. So, anyway, they're in here. Equal to maybe one and a quarter banana, but they're all little frozen pieces. And so I'm going to blend it up and we'll see how it turns out. Alright, I'm not a food processor, so it's a ninja. And it does kind of look like those dip and Dots at this point. So I don't know if it's not enough liquid. I might add a little bit of um, vanilla soy. Or, I'm sorry, vanilla almond milk. Let's see. Hold on. Perseverance, guys. Perseverance. Just keep trying and scraping down the sides. And look. It's very creamy and whippy looking. So I'm going to put it in my dish here a minute. Hold on. Blended bananas, or should I say whipped banana. Looks just like ice cream. I don't know if I can still call this raw because I did sprinkle some PB2 in it to give it that little peanut butter banana flavor. So anyway, great alternative to ice cream. I am telling you what. Just keep at the blending and scraping the sides if you need to. I used the Ninja this ninja but look there it is yum 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 <laughs> I'm so impressed I got this from Moet 100 anyway cool thumbs up peace see ya hey guys how are ya it is Tuesday afternoon yeah it's uh, 1.30 in the afternoon about we are um, at the school right now because, once again, my daughter needed some money dropped off. Oh my gosh. I don't know where this money comes from. It just magically appears out of thin air, I swear. But, anyway, for a homecoming class shirt, 10 bucks for the t-shirt. It's not terrible, but still. Um, and so I'm just eating a sandwich that I made at home. <laughs> that is uh, deli ham. Swiss cheese mustard on whole wheat. It says you can't eat healthy. It's good. It's good. And these, this bread is like 40 calories a slice or something. So it's not bad at all. And I'm just watching the band. They're over there working. Can you see? I don't know if you can see or not. But anyway. They're over there. Working hard because this Saturday's their first band competition. Ah! And it's kind of chilly out here today. It's only in the, excuse me, only in the 50s. Um, I don't mind. This is Michigan. This is how it goes. Summer ends and autumn begins. So, yeah, no complaints. I don't mind it. My body sometimes, however, doesn't like it. You know, the arthritis and whatnot. But I just do my best to deal with it. So anyway, just thought I'd say hi. We'll see you later. Bye. I can't remember anything until this is true or dear. Deep down inside, I feel the scream. This terrible silence of the fear. <laughs> Have you seen the colors, guys? It's a pretty day out. It's only in the 50s, but it's nice. Look at the clouds. Awesome. We're actually heading to go pick up a motor for a car my husband has to work on, so. Truck with trailer on the back. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. This guy's garage is like in the woods. Oh, I'm in the car. I'm in the truck. But look, a little dirt, dirt track road. Some old vehicle of some sort or parts to it. Lots of trees. Green still. And so, I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. Because we do have the truck and the trailer, see? Oh look, in the mirror, there's the trailer, that's my husband in the trailer, and they're working on loading that motor, 
or part of the motor, whatever. I think it's a full motor for... It's coming out of a Cavalier, but I think it's going into a Sunfire or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to unloading that. And to get down in here, look, it's pretty much two track. And um, back up at the road is a, kind of a steep little hill, so I'm a little nervous. Because this truck, this truck is not four wheel drive. But my husband says no problem, so I don't know about these things because I don't drive the trucks and the trailers and whatnot. So, but that little hill when we first came down it kind of made me a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Hello bye. again. So we got the motor picked up. We got the trailer with the motor at our house because that's where the car is that we gotta work on, or that I'll help help work on. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> Boing boing, that's my phone. <laughs> I changed my ringtone again. Anyway, so now we're back in the red car. Or at least I am. I'm waiting for him to drop the keys off to the guy that owns the truck that we use. Um, it is Tuesday. I am not going to that um, exercise class that I went to last week, the WERQ. A um, couple reasons. One, not big on finances right now, but the biggest reason is I really need to invest in some new shoes. I am still whining about Okay, trying not to, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it's just above my sock line. It's a huge bruise, and I originally got it from that class last week. I'm pretty sure because I noticed it just after, and it, at that time it was actually a big, it was a bump. So it's kind of spread out more, and I mean it's healing, but oh my goodness, it hurt. And um, I think it's because... Well, my shoes suck. They're old. Um, but they don't slide even a little bit on that floor. And with those dance type classes, those dance fitness classes, your shoes got to be able to slide a little bit. Like Zumba shoes. Um, so that you can do the twisting and whatnot. And I think my feet just got stuck a few too many times when I was trying to do some of that stuff. There goes my phone again. <laughs> boing, boing. So, anyway, I'm not doing that tonight. Um, yeah, baby steps, though, one thing at a time. It is nice out. It is cold, though. I mean, the sun is out, and it's pretty, but it's chilly. It's, like, in the low 50s now, probably. Anyway, all right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Aw, -bye. look at my pretty picture. I colored. Isn't it beauteous? <laughs> So therapeutic, really it is. I used my uh, Stampin' Up markers for the most part and a few rose art. Rose art? Yeah. Crayola, rose art, rose art. Oh well, I had fun. You guys missed it. He was just pawing at my face. It's like he can't stand I'm trying to use the computer. <laughs> You're such a big kitty. <laughs> Silly boy. All right. Might have to take my daughter Kara to get some shoes again. Not that we can afford it much, but that's what I'm doing is looking at the bank account. She's doing a tomorrow starts this um she's doing a live-in at the at the church the Nazarene church nearby where she will basically be there from tomorrow evening through Sunday that will be weird for me um so anyway I might have to take her to get some shoes I'll hey there I'm back it is just about 10 o'clock p.m. just got back with Kara from finding shoes I do not like shopping so much. I gotta admit that. I can't, for some reason, I just get, I lose patience quickly, I guess, but, um, and then when you have someone who has very big and wide feet for a girl who, you know, wants to find something cute, blah, 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 it just, oh my gosh, and then to top it off, 
We get back out to the car and she can't find her phone. So we're looking on shoe shelves and shoe boxes and stuff. And she's like, I, I had it in my sweatshirt pocket and it's not there now and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, when did you have it last? In the car before we left. And she drove. So I'm like, okay, let's go look in the car. Blah, blah. Spend all this time looking for it. We get home and it's on the bathroom counter. Gah. I went through all this hassle of getting, I don't know, hassle, but I was, I was, annoyed and upset and then she got all pissy and annoyed and so then she started speeding a little bit i'm like no i don't think so you still have traffic laws to obey so then i had to stop at the store on the way home the actual grocery store because my husband wanted me to pick up a couple things and i'm just like i just don't want to be here although i kept walking around because i'm like okay the walking is doing me good but i'm not getting home any quicker by taking my time here and yeah, my mood got the better of me because I bought a 47 cent candy bar because it was on sale and it said peanut butter and butterscotch and it sounded good. It's like one of those little cheapy peanut butter cup type things. Manager special, I fell victim and I admit it right here and right now. And it's not the first time and it won't be the last time. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is a couple things. This is going to be a really long vlog. Hope you're enjoying your time you're spending with me today. Or tomorrow. Or whenever it is. But anyway. Um, this. I've showed you this before. Finally. Went through some of it today. Yeah. I'm back. You know, I'm supposed to highlight the feelings I was feeling right now. And now was earlier at 7 p.m. I actually wrote it down. But at that point, it was numb, relieved, indecisive, lost, good, envious, calm. Um, and then I had to, you know, close my eyes for a couple minutes and whatever I feel, accept it and let it be okay. Whatever it is, is. And, you know, close my eyes for two minutes. And then it is weird. I, um, you know, it was 7.08 p.m. at that time and I felt cold, really cold. And I started to feel almost goosebump and tingly cold. Um, a little bit, got a little bit teary eyed. It was kind of weird. Um, but then earlier, too, I was looking at Hands of Hope, Joyce Myers. Today's episode um, actually mentioned and talked about, well, Hand of Hope, and mentioned a place in Greece. Uh, Thessaloniki? I don't know how to say it. My apologies. But of course, because it was Greece, made me think of Monalise, because he lives over there in Greece somewhere. I don't know where. And I don't even know where that, where he lives in comparison to what this is. Doesn't matter. It just made me think of him. But anyway, they were talking about, um, like trafficking, um, young women or women who are, you know, talked into selling themselves or whatever. I don't know. What do you call it? Um, and I don't want to say the wrong words. I don't want to piss anyone off. I don't want to. I mean, I'm not. I just know that. What was she talking about? Um, the Thessalon. I don't know. Thessalon. I don't know how to say it. Anyway. Um brothels brothels these brothels were these i don't know i'm not even gonna talk about it because that would be stupid because i don't know what to talk about anyway um you know the girls are given drugs or they take drugs or they're trying to make money or trying to make ends meet or whatever the case is i really don't know but they were talking about it on the video and of course i felt my heart just sunk i felt bad you know i just anyway Talking about how God, the Word of God will help, you know, healing is a journey, total restoration. A big part of healing is forgiveness. And she left with, um, if you know, she said something about if you were rejected in childhood, hurt, betrayed, abandoned, etc. Um, she mentioned a particular Bible verse, which was Psalm 2710. So... Each of the different Bibles probably say it a little bit differently, but I um, I looked it up and highlighted it, but I'll let you read it if you want. 
or if you don't want, whatever. Anyway, that is all for today. Another long video from Daddy May, because you love me. <laughs> and I love you too. I love you too. I love you. Baby, I love you. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we'll see ya. Peace, love, plenty of smiles. Tomorrow, bye-bye.